Phobi Shows! Welcome back again! As you saw, I am playing Fantasy Tavern! Hi, from my last left off. Okay, me and Daisy was stuck in the cave for a while, for at least probably this is just the night. Okay, we made it back to the tavern. When we came back to the tavern, okay, um, Monica, Dolia, and Lupini were all very worried. I think they were probably set to probably go for a search for me and Daisy, of course. Alright, but as every, as we've seen, alright, everything was a-okay, though Lupini was pretty mad and actually hit Daisy. I'm like, whoa, that was a shocker for me. But what was also more shocking and more funny was how Daisy is being all lovey-dovey with me and still keeps calling me big brother. I don't like that still. And Lupini seems a bit jelly, Hey. Okay? But yeah, right now though, we are doing the festival and our cream pubs are selling like hot cakes. No, not hot cakes. Hot cakes. What the fuck did I say before? Wow. Me speak English. Well. But yeah, they're selling like hot cakes, even though they're cream puffs. Right? As well as, you know, Lupini's been like working like a madman or woman. Bad woman. There you go. And yeah, so we're giving her a break right now and she wants us to go with her, so we're going along with her. Alright, so here we go. Uh, your tavern is getting quite a reputation, Lupini. When we walk around town, we hear people chatting about our cream puffs. That's good to hear. Oh, man. Uh, one man say, if you visit that shop, you have a delicious meal. Another woman stated, that shop has tasty treats. It seems we made a great impression on the townspeople and adventurers alike. Honestly, it really is thanks to me because I'm the one that's making the, such delicious food. I'm hungry. <laughs> Not at all. You, Daisy, and I all work our hardest, right? Well, that's true too. But it's mostly the food. Yep. This isn't something I was capable of do of by myself. Well, if it was just us strictly from the beginning, yeah. But I won't disagree with that a bit. But it was mostly us that we did the most of the things. Alright, if Luby hadn't announced that she was going to participate in the Fall Festival, who wouldn't have made a stall in the first place? The same goes for the supplies. Without Lupini, we could never have stocked our supplies so cheaply. Then Daisy found that rare fruit for us. Thanks to that, we made food that even that's even more attractive to customers. Well, I never imagined that world would get around so quickly. Behind the scene of the tavern's glowing good reputation are both Miss Monica and Miss Doya. Apparently, our two regular customers have introduced Lupini's shop to all um, to all the other adventurers. See, that's good. Great advertisement right there. I was wrong. At Lupini started, um Exclamation! I I follow her line of sight. Why? Something bad? Something good? Oh, it's those two. Okay. What I found is Miss Monica and Miss Doria uh, having a drinking contest surrounded by adventurers and townspeople. I hope so too. I right. probably Monica would be the one getting drunk. I don't know. Let's see what happens. It's a festival at all. I can't understand their desire to let loose. That is true. That being said, I never thought that Dora would do something like this. You know, actually think about it. Yeah, it makes sense to actually for my character to think of that. Because she seems like the serious type. So her going out in a drinking contest? A bit of a shocker. A bit of a shocker, yeah. By the way, what were you about to uh, um, say back there? Oh, it's about the hug thing? Because we technically did get interrupted by um, Daisy about the hug. You know, you were talking about being a little tired or something? Oh, maybe not that. <laughs> oh, fuck, I fucked up. <laughs> okay, hold on, no. I'm actually gonna start this over a bit, so give me a moment, because I want to hear the whole line. Okay, I'm back. I, this is something I want to like, at least do, because I want to accidentally, um... 
skip so much of the voice acting because I like the voice acting and stuff. But I just want to hear that like sound she makes. It's hilariously funny. You know, it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. I love it. She's adorable. She's definitely next on the list, I guess. A list of harems to get. All right. Oh, are you sure about that? It's so cute how she gets so flustered like that. Oh my god. I'm positive she's been about to tell me something. Maybe I did misheard her after all. My couch is an idiot. Oh, come on. Trying to run away. Oh. Hmm. Oh. I guess so. I'm just saying that Lupini picked up the, p um, the pace to walk quickly just in front of me. Our ears seems to be growing. Her ears seem to be growing red. But maybe it's my imagination. Again, my couch is an idiot. That's good. Ah, yeah, it sounds like we made a good profit. Maybe enough to actually pay back the debt too, because I completely, I actually did completely forgot about the gentleman bitch. And everything like that, so let's see what happens. Even now, the boisterous uh, merry make, ah, merry making in the city haven't lessened. But the sun is beginning to set, telling me that the Autumn Festival will soon draw to end. We'll use up all of our supplies, even after thinking we have more than enough. The only thing left is, um, is the last batch. Sorry, I was gonna say something else. Batch of fresh baked cream puffs. However, since the rush of customers have arrived during midday, we are now selling them off quite as quickly now. Not as quickly as that. Okay. We have to express um, express our thanks to Miss Monica and Miss Doya. After I explain that, I I look to above so uh, above ah avoid storing the cream puffs at room temperature. They construct a simple yet effective refrigerator um, refrigerator for us. Despite calling it a refrigerator, it's basically a chunk of ice created from magic, which we then stuck in a box. Oh, okay. You know, that's still effective, actually. At least these uh, will keep lo um, keep longer now than if they were left out. Oh, hey. Oh, the well dressed gentleman. Oh, gentleman bitch. Oh, ho! The one who appears from the ho uh, hustle and bustle of the town is the man who claims he. Uh, take down Lupina's business. Oh, she's ready to fight. When I see the peer of a fe um, female servant is waiting on him, I have no doubt that it's him. You've been quite um, purchased. Yes, thank goodness. I suppose I have to try one of these for um, these for you it, ah, to see if it's as good as the rumors say. I don't like this condescending attitude, but I keep this in myself. Keep it to myself. That's a nasty noise. Then I hand him a cream puffs he nervously carry to his um to his mouth. Why would you be nervous to carry things in your mouth? Uh, that's a very weird way I was gonna say. It. Why would you be nervous to put, um, carrying things to your mouth? That could literally be anything. I'll take out context or both. He's nervous. He's probably never eaten it before. Sure, but I bet he's nervous uh, uh, because he normally has a poison taster. T taste tester. There you go. Makes sense. All his food for him. That pop that does make sense, and I can understand that. I would poison him. Would you? Oh, just a minute. I see. It is truly delicious. I, I say between the sellers and publicly, that will be a massive success, though. Oh, that was him. That was my character. My bad. I was stupid. I can't, um, I can't interfere that much. Plus, now we have enough money, uh, enough to pay back our debts. With that, I hand the man a large leather bag. Inside is all the money we made during the Autumn Festival. 
Hmm. When the well-dressed man nodded his head, the two servants came forward and take the bag, open it up and to count the money inside. The servant seems accustomed to this and skillfully count the coins. Hmm. It is the exact amount needed to repay the debt. Very well. As no uh, ah, as nobility, I will never go back on my word. But yet you're an asshole. That means. However, oh, let's see, he's gonna be an asshole now. However, he wouldn't insist on keeping the pain for himself, would he? I have no need for a land or the girl, but my one condition is that you deliver these treats to my mansion on a regular basis. Ooh, okay. Huh? No, that actually is good. Because since he likes the food, then the nobles, probably to some point royalty, will find out about the food. So, they're the prophets. I see. I guess he really found um, fond of the cream puffs. Just wait till other treats we made. Or could make. Ice cream! Ooh, if they make ice cream, I bet your dad would sell a lot. Especially during the summer. At least the summer in this world. Whatever the summer in this world is thought. Okay. Hey, that is all. Hey, what did you say? Okay, that's good. All right, I'll send a messenger to discuss the details with you later. If you excuse me, still a bitch though. Hey, we remain in stock as we watch the man turn his back and leave. Yeah, I thought he tried to argue for uh, for more advantages condition. All right. Who could have imagined that he would demand that we present him with cream puffs? Well, it's better than some other twisted condition. That's just true. That's great. Ugh. <laughs> oh, don't cry. Oh. We pretty um put um patiently saw um particularly sob this as she clings onto me. <laughs> Normally she would be like this actually if I, if I was going towards Lupini and she'd be arguing with me about that But it seems so funny and adorable too. Just don't call me big brother. Uh, please don't call me that All right, Daisy leaps on me after she says this You too <laughs> Oh my god, they're adorable Let's save our celebration and tears for later. The autumn festival isn't over yet, and we still got to clean up. <laughs> we all look at each other and give a ah deserving nod. Now what? That night, after our huge success at the autumn festival, we return to our tavern after cleaning up. <laughs> Well, what kind of whale? Some whales are bigger than others. It's an orca or like a, a sperm whale? Because sperm whale is a or blue whale, right? Which one's bigger, blue whale or sperm whale? Which one's the biggest whale? Wait, do you even have- What kind of whales do you guys have too, actually? I wonder about that. That's a weird thing to say in your sleep. Oh, she's sleeping. Okay. I know Daisy likes to eat, but a whale? Uh, that's true. On my back, Daisy is softly snoring. Aw. Oh, she's on my back. Okay. okay. Towards the end of the cleanup, she's been wobbling on her feet, and I gave um given up and started giving her a piggyback ride home. Let's put her to sleep in her room. <laughs> Yay! All right, that should do it. Oh, that's so adorable. Just, that's too cute. That's too cute. Um, Daisy whispers this as she curls up into a ball on her bed. Oh my god, that's adorable. Uh, I guess she's still dreaming about food. Who wouldn't dream about food? Now? Doing our best not to wake Daisy up, Lupini and I quietly leave the room. Or bedroom. 
After returning to the tavern, Lupini and I decided to throw a modest party to, in celebration of today. We have the real party another day. We wanted to invite Miss Monica and Miss Lola, and Daisy is already asleep after all. <sighs> yes, let's go for a nice good drink. I'm, I'm spacing out and eating some dry snacks when Lupinia pushes an alcoholic drink towards me. I... I'm not saying I never drink, but when I think of everything else we still have to organize, maybe we hold off, uh, holding off would be best. <laughs> I wonder if she would get drunk. That would be hilariously funny. Well, let's see how she does get drunk. Oh, don't get sad. Uh, that hurts. Okay, let's drink. The glass uh, she pushed towards me is filled to the brim. Is she trying to get me drunk? Is she trying to get the duck? Just trying to get the duck. <laughs> Nothing. I. What should I do? Is this a choice? Should I read between the line and drink, or think about what might happen later and abstain? Oh, this is actually this is actually a choice. Why is this a choice? I do question on some of the choices that happens in the game a bit. Don't get me wrong, but. I'm gonna have the drink. Why not? You know, she offers a drink. It'd be rude not to have the drink. So we're gonna have the drink. I expect something very, very, very interesting to happen. So here we go. <laughs> I hope she did put something in the drink too. Nuts. Rupina is smiling at me. I definitely got a drink. And I'll take it with pleasure. I peer into the glass that Lupina hands me. I can see my face reflecting in the br cup brimming, um, brimming with liquid. What remains uh, reminds me, I never tried the drinks of this world. Oh wow, how long have you been here? That was a big gulp. Hmm. It, um, it goes down easier than I thought. In fantasy world, any other country like, in any of countries, really. I always had the impression alcoholic drinks have a high alcohol percentage and are hard to handle. I guess that isn't true. Yeah, that really isn't true. Alcohol is alcohol, basically. Like, each one does have its own, I guess, percentage of alcohol, of course. But it's not like, you know, the US has, like, heavy, heavy amount of alcohol in their drinks. I'm just saying, like, all some drinks I had in the US, of course. I barely drink in the I barely drink, so I can't per se, I am an expert in this, because truth be told, after like two beers, I would get tipsy. I am a lightweight. I would get drunk very easily. So, just let you guys know that. I cannot <laughs> handle my alcohol. I guess it is good. I don't know. It's much easier to drink than I thought. Plus, if a girl like Lupina is drinking it, it can't be too hard to drink. Maybe. That said, how easy is the drink and how much alcohol is in it are two separate things, I guess. <laughs> She's trying to get me drunk. She is trying to get me drunk. Uh, hey. She refi- Okay, this is the sound of that. Uh, she refills my glass to the brim once more. This isn't going to end well. If I keep drinking at this pace, I'll end up bl <laughs> blind drunk in no time. That would be me. I'd probably be drunk already, to be honest. Yet, I'm a lightweight. I'll, I'll pour you another two. <laughs> oh, she's adorable. Then when I take the glass bottle from hers, Lupines happily pushes her glass towards me. Okay, got it. I, if I'm the one ha um, handling one of the bottles of alcohol, she couldn't force me to try drinking. Oh, keep <laughs> drinking. There you go. 
君のお酒だからかなとっても美味しく感じる Is she drunk already? Because the way she's acting, I can't tell. I doubt the flavor is any different. Okay. Since r a v i n a sticks out her empty glass, I refill it once more. Okay, I think she's drunk. I think it's, she's drunk. Will she be okay if I keep drinking like this? If she keeps drinking like this? What if Lupina is actually really, a um, actually really able to hold her liquor? I can't say whether either way, since I never had drinks with Lupina before, but it makes me wonder what she'll be like drunk. I, this is making me nervous. I pray that she doesn't try anything strange if she gets drunk. Oh my god, she's gonna do something strange, I know it. Like Vonanika. What does Vonanika do when she was drunk? Was she trying to go for the duck? Man, all these girls want to go for the duck. <laughs> was that her trying to do an impersonation of Daisy? Alright. Um, hey, you okay? Rupina's voice is somehow coming to resemble Daisy's. I, I was. Wow. <laughs> okay, she's drunk. Yeah, definitely drunk. Definitely drunk. Seriously, I told you this would happen. Rupina is leaning forward on the table, about to, do about to doze off. Of course, at the pace she's been drinking, it was only a matter of time until she goes flat out drunk. Ah. <sighs> I was right not to drink too much. Rupini, can you catch you catch a cold if you fall asleep here? So you should go back to your room. Mm. Oh, so cute. It's not gonna happen. I can't just pick her up without permission, nor should I go into Lupini and Daisy's room. Okay, uh Honestly, I can understand what my character is saying, but I've In a situation like this, like it's not like I'm gonna do anything funny, so I think it'll be okay. To be honest, in my opinion. But how would you guys? What would you guys do if you're in a situation like this? Would you act like my character, or at least think about it as no big deal? I'll bring a blanket for you. With a opinion like this, about the only thing I could do for her is bring her a blanket. Hmm. When I direct my eyes back to Lupini, she's sitting up and stretches her hands out towards me. Okay. I guess we got permission. What? What did she just say? She sounds even more adorable when she's drunk. Carry you? <laughs> the noises, that noise. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know why I was doing that. If you're awake, then you can get to your room by yourself. Just carry her. I guess Lupini gets a bit selfish when she's drunk. Much cuter than staring, um, starting trouble like Miss Monica would, but still. This kind of ruins my impression of her. I've always felt like Lupini was the reliable older sister type. Although this behavior may be a, a refreshing change, it also feels out of place. Oh, uh, don't look at me like that. Yeah, don't look at me like that. It's just too cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's pouting. The pouty face. God damn, that's so adorable. Ah, uh, fine. I'll carry you. Jeez. God damn. Rupini's expression changed as a bright smile light up her face. Uh, here we go. Ugh. I picked up Lupini and head to her room. This is the first time I ever done a bridal carry in my life. Okay. Ugh. Sheesh, I'm glad I'm starting helping out stocking supplies from the very beginning. If I haven't been able to pick up 
uh, pick her up now. Think of how uncool that would be, um, would have looked. Wow, we are just admitting that we were a weak ass bitch. And Lupita is just so happy. Look at that face. God damn. When Lupita wraps her arms around my neck, she started to doze off again. And then. Sleepy! She fell asleep? Did you really fall asleep like this? It had, uh, it had taken her mere seconds to pass out. Why? Off of all places, did she have to fall asleep while I'm carrying her? Now, what to do? I think about walking her up in front of her room, but I feel bad doing that. I could have her sleep in one of the tavern's chair. I feel bad doing that as well. I but le uh ah that leaves my room. Why my room? I could just put it like that makes no sense. I would like honestly if I was in a situation like this, I would just literally carry her back into her room. I don't know why it has to be my room, but okay. The attic room has no oh yeah, okay, that makes more sense now. That actually makes more sense. The attic room has no door, so there's no need for me to purposely wake her up before entering. No, I can't possibly do that. Even if I temper, uh, even if it's temporarily, bringing a drunk girl into my room is a bad idea. Well, again, unless you're playing for something funny, then yes. But if, uh, if it was me again, I know I'm start getting off topic a lot. But uh, if it was me in this situation again, just put her in the room, and I'll just like either sleep on the floor or just like sleep in the tavern, like sleep on the chair or something like that. I would literally do that. Is she waking up? Did I wake you? I I'll carry you to your room. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. She's clinging more tightly onto me with her arms, so... Um, ah. Arms she has wrapped around my neck. I right, stay with me? What do you plan on doing? Oh. Oh. Okay. Wait, that's a. Mm. I don't mind, but oh, I. Oh wow, my cat just said that. I actually was actually uh looking at that. When I said that. I I I don't mind. What are we going to do in my room exactly? I think about asking her this, but Lupia is already in Dreamland. Oh well. Lupia is still in my arms. I decide to go to my room. Dots. More dots. What am I supposed to do now? Rupina is asleep in my bed. On the other hand, I'm spacing out sitting on the edge of the mattress. She told me she wanted to stay with me, and now this. I thought she wanted to talk about the Autumn Festival or the future. St um, stuff like that. Which is why I assume she'll wake up once we got in my room, but I guess I was wrong. She's fat, um, falling fast asleep and doesn't show the slightest sign of waking up. I guess I'll go clean up. And I figure I'll end it right here. It was a little earlier than I normally end the episode, but I kind of want to like leave a little bit of suspense. Because I have a feeling that the moment we get up and going to go... Lupine is gonna like grab me by the arm and pull me in and probably choke me for leaving her because she's ridiculously strong. I doubt that. But still, okay. I kind of want to leave a little bit of suspense. But anyhow, again, 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 again. Again. I just had to do that. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. I actually am enjoying this more and more. I'm very glad that Lupine is not going to go um, losing her tavern, the father's tavern, as well as working for the German bitch. Well, he's not much of a bitch right now. He's still an asshole a bit, a little bit. But I might change his name from gentleman bitch to gentleman asshole. Maybe. I don't know yet. What do you guys think? Keep it gentleman bitch or gentleman asshole? I'll let you guys decide. But anyhow, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you pound the button to enjoy it. And if you guys are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon too for another new videos. And until next time, this is Don Beast. Hell yeah!